Object pooling is designed pattern for recycle object instead of create and then destroy the object when it's not needed anymore. It takes time to create and destroy object, causing a bottleneck when you need many objects. Instead of create and destroy, show and hide object is good option. Create many objects on loading state, pick object, show and hide the object. Here is some minimal code implementation object pooling. We have pool item class that has active property. And then pool class that create pool items. Method to get item. If every item is active, then create new one. I'm gonna implement object pooling on Godot 4.1 and C Sharp. Source code link in description both GDScript and C Sharp. Create new scene with root type 2D or 3D depending on the game. Attach new script on the root node. Create interface for pool item. Create export properties initial spawn and scene for the item so we can change on the editor. On ready method. Instantiate item and add as a child. We use Godot node tree system instead using array. Create method for get item, get first child and then check if the first child is not active and then return the child. Otherwise create new item. Create new scene as item for object pool. Attach new script on the root node. Implement pool item interface and active should be false by default. Here we turn off render, collision detection, and process. Create new method for spawning. Here we change active to true and turn on render, collision, process, and move to last child. Create new method for destroying. Here we change active to false and turn off render collision process and move to first child. Here I use for bullet and enemy. And this is how I use inside player controller. Hope this video useful. Have a nice day.